Hey, welcome to today's Daily Sprint. We're talking about increasing our purpose, passion, and meaning. And today we're talking about coaching our clients on a pretty popular thing nowadays that actually got, started to gain popularity several years ago, and now it's kind of like everyone is doing it. We're talking about what I used to call the legal juice. TRT, testosterone replacement therapy, or HRT, hormonal replacement therapy. And back in the day, it was pretty, not very common. Uh, but now, man, they are slinging it, that stuff. It's like they got like places on every corner, like ice cream uh, trucks. And pretty much if you're over 40, you can get the legal juice. So you're gonna have a lot because of the commonality. You're gonna have a lot of clients starting to ask you, be like, oh man, it's my hormones, dude. It's my hormones, should I get on the legal juice? Well, let's talk through this um, because I, I have a personal journey with this. So number one thing that you want to look at is are they ready to be on injections or pellets or whatever the rest of their life? Because it doesn't work like a medicine or a band-aid that like heals a wound and then the, it rejuvenates itself. Once you start to, uh, HRT, you're always on HRT for the rest of your life. So that's a pretty darn big commitment cost-wise, although a lot of insurance do cover it. Uh, but just you know, time-wise and having to, when you go on vacation, you got to bring the legal juice and get the prescription. It's just, you know, kind of, uh, kind of crazy. So number one, are they ready to make that commitment? But that's not the true number one. The number true number one is, do they have symptoms outside of things that they can control? Okay. So yeah, they're going to have low T if they're sitting there with a big pot belly, they don't lift, they don't exercise and they're drinking a six pack every night. Okay. Get rid of that stuff and then see if they still are symptomatic of low T. Super important. I had low T, but then I had very low. It was uh, below 200, it was like 176. And they wanted to get me on all the creams and all that. And I just didn't want to do this. This was when I was 36. So what I did is I, I did everything right. I, I, I maintained a healthy body weight. I lifted and my symptoms completely went away. I had no sense. As a matter of fact, at the time I was winning bodybuilding shows, winning powerlifting meets on a T of 176. Okay, so just because their blood work might have some low T doesn't necessarily mean that they're gonna be symptomatic. Number two, okay, so they may have the symptoms and they may think their T is, is low and they should have to do this anyway, okay, but a lot of people get the T illegally as well. They don't get it from a hack clinic or, a pres or a, get it prescribed, they just go to a friend. So make sure if you're coaching a client that wants to do that and thinks they need to do that, can have them get the blood work. Um, you can use a company called Everly Well. It's literally a mail-in. They'll do blood work, uh, saliva, saliva work, pee in a cup work, uh, and they can run pretty much any panel that uh, a physician can run. It's pretty cool, very cheap too. They were on Shark Tank. So get the blood work to, to warrant it. So number one, make sure they're doing everything they possibly can to be healthy and non-symptomatic. Number two, make sure they have the blood work and they actually do have a hormonal imbalance. A lot of times they just think they do and they don't. They have a fork imbalance, okay? And lastly, all other efforts have been exhausted. So I would make sure that they're symptomatic, not just for a month or two. I would go six months. Again, it's a big commitment getting on the legal juice. They're going to literally be on it the rest of their life, doing injections and, and so forth. So make sure that there's a trend in symptoms and it's not just they had a stressful month and maybe they had some blood work came back and they were a little bit below the line. Okay, make sure that they, they, this is a, they really take this decision seriously. And it's a trend of, I would say, at least four to six months where, hey, it's kind of like they need to do this. That's what happened in my, in my case. I put it off for four years because, A, the symptoms weren't that bad until they were. Eventually, the symptoms did catch up to me when I, was, when I turned 40, actually 2018. And yeah, it was, uh, it was worth having to get on and having to get these ba uh, hormones balanced. But there's a lot that I think that uh, your clients can do before then. So definitely follow those three things. Don't just have them jump the gun as far as getting on TRT. It's just simply not worth it on it the rest of their lives. Have a great growth-driven rest of your day. And obviously, this is always going to be a physician conversation, but there's just some good ways that you can weigh into the person. Have a great growth-driven rest of your day.